Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Today, we are going to be talking about shipping finished good products from inventory using the Customer Shipments Jobs tab. Specifically, we will be addressing at what sell price is applied to this product when we do ship from inventory. So I have a purchase order here in my hands from Ford Motor Company, and they are requesting 100 of my 10625 8 inch roller shaft products. I need to check to see if I have any of these in inventory, and I can do that using the Job Boss Explorer Reports Material Control Stock Status Report. When I run this report for finished goods only selected and the location detail, I can see once this report comes up here that my 1065 eight inch roller shaft has an on-hand quantity of 500. And I don't have any demand in the system at all for anything else. So it's just 500 of them sitting on the shelf available to me to ship from inventory to Ford Motor Company. All right, so now that I know I have 500 available to me, I can go back to my Job Boss Explorer modules, my Customer Shipments Jobs tab. I actually have it open down here already. I can go to the From Inventory tab on the Customer Shipments Jobs. I know that this is a little counterintuitive, the fact that it's under Customer Shipments Jobs, but we have a From Inventory tab. Um, that's one of the reasons we're doing this video, so you can see that you can actually ship from inventory without tying it to a job. So I'm going to go ahead and click my Auto Number button and I'm going to auto number my pack list and then hit my tab key. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go back to the from inventory tab and I would simply type in my part number here that I want to ship from inventory or I could do a search for that as well using this magnifying glass if I wasn't sure what the number was at this point. I could click that magnifying glass, choose my type of finished goods, click apply filter. I'm going to get a list of all of the finished good items in my inventory currently, my material library. I can select that 10625 8 inch roller shaft by dragging it over to the selected materials box, clicking OK. And that is now added to uh, the From Inventory tab. And now, simply all I would need to do um, is uh, type in a quantity that was requested for my PO, 100. And my PO number is 6754, and that's from line item number 12 uh, from Ford Motor Company. I can then um, go ahead and select the sales code here, machine sales. And by the way, I did mention Ford Motor Company, but I have not yet added them to the general tab of this pack list. So I can go back to the general tab now and add Ford Motor Company as my customer to whom I am shipping this to. So I'm going to go ahead and add Ford Motor Company, hit my tab key. And now I have the uh, customer I that is requesting this uh, product and uh, my part number uh, with the quantity of 100 on my uh, on this pack list. Before I save this pack list, I do want to show you what the sell price would be when I do uh, create this pack list and sell this to Ford Motor Company. And I will show you on the uh, material master file for 10625 under system administration and material. I'm going to go ahead and type in 10625 here and hit my tab key and then navigate to the pricing tab of this 8 inch roller shaft material master file. Here you can see I have a sell price of $10 specified here. So this is where the sell price of the items that I'm going to ship to Ford Motor Company is deriving from. I'm going to go ahead and go back to customer shipments jobs. I'm going to go ahead and save this pack list and I'm, I will do a print preview here to show you uh, what that pack list will look like. It's to Ford Motor Company in Indianapolis, quantity of 100 for part number 10625 eight inch roller shaft. I do not have a job number, but I do have a PO number and a line item. Uh, as you can see, there's no price being shown here on uh, the pack list. As I stated on the material master file pricing tab, the sell price specified in that field will drive the price that this product is going to be sell, sold at on the pack list. And for those of you that have the job boss accounting module under accounts receivable, and customer invoices. If I go to the pack list that I created uh, earlier, I'm going to go ahead and auto number my invoice number here and hit my tab key. And I'm going to type in or search for actually my pack list that I just created to ship this out of inventory. I'm going to go ahead and choose the apply filter button here. I know my, my uh, pack list number is 30014. 
So I can drag that over here to the pack list ID and click OK to add that to my pack list uh, tab here. And as you can see, the unit price was the default field that Job Boss pull up here in Job Boss um, or in customer invoices, and the price is ten dollars. I do have the ability, of course, here to um, go ahead and change this price if I need to here to something else, or I could just go with the default price that was um, on the Material Master File pricing tab in the selling sell price field. After verifying everything is correct on this invoice, I could go ahead and then post that invoice and save it. I just want to reiterate the important point of where that unit price is deriving from, and that is, once again, the Material Master File pricing tab and the sell price field. If, in fact, you have this sell price field set to zero, that is the price that would be applied to the pack list and henceforth the invoice as well. So you're going to want to make sure that you do have a sell price on the pricing tab of your Material Master File for to begin with, or at least if this is zero under your customer invoices, once you bring that pack list into here, your unit price would be zero. At that point, you could manually type in a price there as well. But I like to pull the information from the Material Master File itself, uh, deriving it from its source is the best way to ensure that the unit price is correct. That's going to conclude today's lesson on where does the sell price derive from when we ship from customer shipments jobs from inventory tab and job boss. Thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate you. Have a great day.